Hi, I'm Steve. I want to show you, this is a K40 that I have and you know, I'm, I make the optics and the laser alignment tools for your machines. But I'm going to show you what I've done uh, with my, my son and what, we've, what he's done to his machine, our machine. Okay, it's some simple stuff, limited budget, and how we have to alter it. So chilling the water is one thing and we have a cooler right here with a pump inside there and you know we can add some water to it some frozen water bottles but what i did that was really cheap and very effective was this is a 100 watt uh 50 uh fish tank chiller okay and it actually at running at full power doing nothing but cuts the temperature climbs real slow but if you're only going to do it for a little bit it's, it's all you need it'll get the temperature back down we have about uh, a gallon and a half of water in the chiller, so there's enough water there. This this will not keep up with the machine 100. percent We find that if we're going to cut for maybe an hour, uh, we'll throw one bottle of ice water in, of ice uh, like a bottle like this inside there, and the temperature actually will go down as opposed to going up at full full power cutting. That's one thing we did. To it. it works really nice. Uh, the next thing is, as you know, I make uh, the lenses. So we put, I put my adapter on here with a uh, adjustable focus lens. So you can put your lens in, and if you have thicker work, you can put it up higher, and if you have thinner work, you can put it down lower. So it has adjustment, and uh, you move the focal point up and down with it. Now something we've discovered, we don't have air assist on our machine, so without the air assist, uh, we want the ventilation to work as good as possible. Uh, we've taken the nozzle off. The lens gets dirtier without air assist when you have the nozzle on. If you're gonna have air assist, great. It'll keep the lens even cleaner. With a system like this, we probably clean the lens every day after we use it because there's nothing really affecting. And in that process, we wanna have really good airflow. We want this vent right here. We've trimmed it, as you can see. Uh, and we've also taped all the little holes uh, everywhere so that when the air comes through, it goes through here straight across to the vent. And it's going to get you the best airflow and keep the flame down on your wood, you know, keeping that air. You never ever, without air assist, you'd never want to cut with the door open. One's bad for your eyes. And two, it changes the airflow. You go like this and start running it, the air is not going to flow across the wood. You're gonna have much more smoke hitting the lens, uh, a lot more flame ups. Okay. The the next thing I want to talk about is again, if you look at my machine here, I've taken away, I've taken off the original lens holder, and I put my adjustable. Um, for alignment on this machine, we had a little bit of a problem in that the mirror, when it sat, it was not sitting at the right angle. We actually, I put tape underneath the top of the mirror so that the mirror sits more, it's sitting like this. I made it so it sits more like this, so that it, it hit down straight. Now, how did I know to do that? Well, the only way really to know how to do that was with, uh, I would say with probably my alignment tool on the K40. This is my alignment tool, okay? It goes up inside the, the head the case of your standard K40 head. I have an alignment tool that looks like this. It screws right onto the uh, head. You take your lens off. And what it does is it, put a, it puts a red laser in, in the spot where the lens would go. The center of the lens, exactly 90 degrees to the lens. And with that, when I did that, I could see that my mirror wasn't at the right angle because this dot that is projected over here it actually drifted up and down from far away to near. Now, now you'll see it still drifts a little bit, which means it maybe could use one more piece of tape, but you know, to take the mirror off, I haven't done that yet. I might get to do that real soon. But with this movement, I can see if the head needs to be turning this way or this way, or if the mirror needs adjustment here. Um, now understand with all alignments, using your CO2 conventionally, the way you're doing them now. What you're really trying to do is get your machine 
uh, your red laser to be in a line, whether it's in the X or the Y, with your axis of travel. So this flyway right here, you want, this, this is where your travel goes. As the head moves, it's sliding, sliding along a, a plane, a line that follows this flyway. Your laser going through needs to be parallel with this. Okay, so when you're seeing uh, a drift and, the, and it gets, the, the spots aren't in the same place, what that's saying is you're pointing in the wrong direction. And the, what I try to tell people is stop trying to aim and hit the mirror. What you want to do is you want your beam to hit in a place where it doesn't move. It's, it's parallel to this axis of travel and it, the dot doesn't move. And after you're done getting the dot not to move, you might have to move your mirror. I move this mirror a lot. I loosen the screws underneath it, and I loosen the screws here, and after I got this thing perfect, I move the mirror to the right position so that the, the, the dot would actually hit the mirror. Now, I can't get it, this mirror doesn't have an up and down movement, the head doesn't, so you can see it's not hitting in the center. If I wanted it to hit in the center, it would never be able to go into the head at the right place. You'd never have a, the best cut possible. Okay, so this is my machine. Uh, this is some of the things. I've spent very little money. You can see a cooler, a $50 chiller. I did my lens upgrade. I got an alignment tool so I can get perfect alignment. With that, I mean, you can do amazing work. Let me show you some, an example of some of the things we've done here. You make the, the lamps. We're, we're cutting three millimeter MDF like butter, okay? Very fast, very quick. Uh, she made me, I made some coasters of the MDF. It, again, very little charring on the back, as you can see. And when your alignment is right, even a K40 will do amazing work. So, uh, good luck. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks.